Ladies and gentlemen, and I use that term very lightly, welcome to the headquarters of Hang Tough. This is my bunker. And today is actually a somber day because I'm saying goodbye to an old trusted friend. This is my caribou mountaineering backpack. I've had this for almost 10 years and it's been bulletproof. It's done everything I've asked it to do. Well, unfortunately it's met its expiration date as we all do. Now the trick is, this is a system that I've spent a lot of time setting up. I need to get this gear off and put it onto the new rig and make it work. Before I get into that, I wanted to talk to you about subscriptions. Now, if you dig my content, you want to see more of it, you subscribing, sharing, liking, whatever it is you do on YouTube helps out the channel, helps me out. So I appreciate it. Let's uh, start trying to tear this bag down and build the new one. So the systems that are really important to me are, one, starting with the tourniquet, okay? You always need that tourniquet on the outside where you can get to it right now. Doesn't do any good if it's buried in your bag. So we're gonna have to figure out how I can get this on the outside. My Gorilla Tape on this bag attaches right here with these um, buckles. I like having the Gorilla Tape where I can get to it easy. Here you can see on the side, again up here on that molly, I've come through with a carabiner and I have my 50 feet of paracord, Hank. That's a big snag hazard, but it's still important to me. And then on the bottom, I've got two Velcro straps that I've gone through. There's two Molly attachments here on the bottom. So these Velcro straps allow me to attach things like a bedroll or a poncho, whatever it is. But that's important to me to have that ability to put things on the bottom. So we're going to have to figure out a way to rig that up. And then you can see here on the shoulder straps, there's Molly that's sewn in. Well, I like to always keep a carabiner here. That way I can attach things. So we'll have to figure out how that'll work. But those are the main things on the outside of the bag that I'm looking to replicate on this new one. I weighed this bag recently and it was coming in at about 10 pounds. So I've got a lot of stuff. You'll see a little uh, quiz on it. TMS, too much shit. <laughs> That's what happened. So the first thing I'm gonna do is remove this tourniquet. It just straps on here to the molly that's up top. That'll come off my carabiner that hold my paracord wrap. Take this Gorilla Tape off. And on the bottom here, got these Velcro straps that I've got attached here. Now this will be tricky. This is a Rhino Armor ballistic panel that lives in this pocket. And it really just gives you the ability to flip that bag around. You see that I'm always wearing the bag on the front. That's an important thing to get used to wearing that bag on your front but you can flip that around. At least you got a little protection over your vitals here. Now what's happened to this bag is that the zipper on the right hand side has failed and I've tried everything. It actually lasted for another month or so with me, you know, resetting it, but it's, it's gone now. And to have this cut out and put back in is a lot of money that I don't have. So that's the, what's failed on it. So this is our new bag. This is an ultralight camelback and Basically, I picked it because I found it at Goodwill and it was $1. It's ultra light, it's got nice padding on the back, and it's going to be summertime, so I want to, you know, go lighter and keep myself cooler. Now, the thing is, where can I attach things to? Because that's really the whole thing about this. It's about making it work. It's never going to be like you think it's going to be if it's a real emergency situation. You're going to make do with whatever you can, and that's what's important learning how to make do with what you've got because that's what you got okay let's start off with the ballistic panel now this is from a company called rhino armor ballistics you can get these on ebay real great it's soft and super lightweight i've been getting these for years so you can find them on ebay rhino armor ballistics so let's see if this guy will we need it to fit in somewhere on the front and here's the thing with this bag, I can guarantee you that the way I set it up in this video, it'll be changed by tomorrow. That's how it goes for me. Constantly evolving. Okay, that could work. It's got some little um, bungee type material, some netting here. That's a little loose. In the front pocket here, it's got a little back pocket. It could fit in there just right. Yeah, there we go. That fits good. Now let's look at our paracord wrap. Well, in the other one we were kind of up here. 
It'll work. The tourniquet's going to be the big one. Now, I always like to keep a carabiner on my front because this, you know, when you're wearing it, this is on your front side. So, I like to keep it on my right. Another thing I can see is this is reflective, so I'm going to take a black marker and I'll kill that. I don't want reflective stuff. You don't want to give away your position. Well, it looks like it's going to be on the shoulder strap. I'm going to get rid of these. I'll cut these off. So I like that. Again, it's not ideal, but it works, right? I've got it quick access to it. Okay, it's looking pretty good. Got my Gorilla Tape. I always like to have that on the outside. Now these I want here on the bottom. This is how I attach things to the bottom. Very important to me. See this little waist strap, we don't want that. Get rid of that stuff. But theoretically I could put two loops of paracord here and come through. All right, so I've got this paracord. Should fit through, through there, no problem. Let's see. Yeah, if I could do two straps there. Yeah, let's try that. I want to shut that knife because we're dealing with nylon. <laughs> Unless you want to lose it. You want to create some air conditioning. I'm just going to do a simple overhand knot, create a loop. Again, I can come back and modify this. I'll need to burn the ends of the paracord. Let's try one. And these are great. I just find these at, you know, Goodwill. Basically, it's just a strap and it's got the Velcro. It's got the, you know, hook and loop. So it would go through here. All right. Take it through this guy. Now again, this isn't ideal, but will it give me what I need? Come back through here. Kinda sorta. Hmm, kinda sorta. That would work. Let me do the other side. That looks good. Close that knife. An overhand. Now you could use carabiners for this, but then you got a lot of metal going on, and I prefer paracord for things. We'd want to come through here. All right. Come up through this strap. We'd come through here. And the hook and loop will attach. So, if you can see that. <laughs> you can see it. Let's um, throw something in there, see if it would hold. You know, if I can get these balanced, it should hold something on the bottom. I'll grab a poncho. Okay, I've got a poncho here. This is by a company called Frog Tog. It's actually just paper. And it's infused with rubber, with plastic. Stuff is beautiful. Ultra light. It weighs nothing. And it works, trust me. It works up here in Oregon. Now the thing is, if you take this into the bush, you're gonna get ripped and then you got nothing. Let's just see if that would, you know, if it'll do what I needed to do, which is hold it on the bottom somewhat securely, right? Okay, so let's come around. It's a good, good fit. So I will tighten that up. Come around. Well, it's not pretty, but that works. That's what I want it to do. All right? Well, let's keep it down so the rain doesn't get in there. Hey, that'll work. All right, let's give it a try. See how she works. Love ultralight. Tell you that much. So I can see that this is kind of an issue. You know, it's rubbing into me. Here's the tourniquet. I've got the quick access. My little carabiner, it's a little high. I'm used to it being lower. 
So here I'm just going to flip it around to the front. And that's what you're looking to do in any kind of an active shooter situation, right? Because you're going to be engaged here to the front. So you want that ballistic plate here. I can see that's going to be a little bit of an issue. It's flopping around. You know, is it really going to protect me? I don't know. We'll see if we can move it back, you know, further back. But I've got my um, Gorilla Tape here. Got my paracord. Straps are important for me on the bottom. I could attach the poncho like this. You know, I'll keep playing with it. Like I said, this will be changed by the next time you see it. I think it'll work. You know, it's not ideal. It's all new. So that's what you have to be. You have to be able to adapt. That's just how things go. You've got your gear. Well, you may lose that bag right now. What I do that's real weird. Tell me if you do this in the comments below. Let me know. I know this is an inanimate object. It's not alive. It doesn't have a heartbeat. But what I do is I... Take the old one and the new one, I touch them together, I rub them together, and I'm transferring all that energy to the new one. That's very strange, I know. Let me know in the comments if you do something like that too. Alright, hang tough.